Okay. Welcome everybody to today's uh, workshop on audio amplifiers. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, quick side note before we get started. If you don't have a headphone jack on your device, probably try and find someone near you who does have one and partner up because I didn't think about that. So that's my fault. Like if you have an iPhone like I do and you don't have the adapter, you can't do it. So there's, there's also one on iPads. So. Yeah, if you have an iPad or a laptop or you know, that would also be bad. So uh <laughs> um here's all of our contact info if you'd like to talk to any of us. Um you can join our Discord server and then uh Siddharth has office hours in the lab room uh downstairs on Mondays in the off weeks. Um, and if you want to follow along with the slides, you can go to our website. And then up in the corner, there's the meeting slides. Uh, if everybody wouldn't mind filling out the attendance form, this gets us more money so we can buy more pizza. So the more pizza, the better. So uh, send it to your grandma, have her fill it out. You know, uh, the more the merrier. It's not fraud, don't worry. Probably not, right, Eddie? You don't know what's on YouTube, right? Yeah, it's, I'm, it's comedy. Yeah, fair I don't know. Upload it after the statute of limitations for whatever crimes I just talked about. So you'll see it in about 10 years time. Anyway, still need the QR code. Nope. Cool. Uh, we have some open officer positions. That is wrong. It's wrong. Well, um, so we have a few open, uh, open officer positions. We have one vice president in training. Um, two, a treasurer. Um, if you're a student employee, that's a lot better, but if you're not, you're still good. Um, we don't really need accounts of rep anymore. Um, that's um, handed off to a different position. And funding coordinators. So that reaches out to companies and sponsors to give us more funding for any projects and budget sales. So um, if you have any questions or let's send an application in, just send your resume to that email right there. And um, yep, you get that. Yep. Okay, so what is an amplifier? I'm guessing some of you are gonna be ECE students, some of you are not, and some of you will and will not have taken EC 3020. Uh, if you do take it, it's all in, all in and about amplifiers and transistors and stuff. So essentially an amplifier is something that takes a little signal and it turns it into a big signal. Uh, they're usually transistor based. I think almost all of them are. Um, and so, an example, a common example, like what we're doing today is certain audio signals are going to be in like the millivolt range. And if you're going to try and drive a speaker with it, you want that to be in the volts or tens or hundreds of volts range. Um, so you need something to be able to take that signal and make it a lot bigger without adding a lot of extra junk and noise to it. Um, outputs often in watts. You'll hear amplifiers rated in their watt, which is their power output capacity. Um, so power is uh, the ratio between voltage times current. Um, so some loudspeaker amplifiers can do thousands of watts. Like if you go to a, a common, co a modern concert these days, the PAs might be over a million watts. Um, so it's a lot of power, but you know, thing as, uh, it's hard to push lots of volume long distances. So you kind of need that. Um, the chip we're working with today can do 750 milliwatts roughly. So 0.7 of a watt. So it's a lot, a lot lower, but it'll still be pretty loud. Uh, there's different amplifier classes. Uh, without getting too deep into the weeds, there's these are just different ways that the transistor is turned on. So the transistor kind of acts like uh, a light switch that's not controlled by a person, but it's controlled by either current or voltage. So the class A amplifier, the transistor is on the entire time. So it's always switching on or off. Um, and then in, so as you get further in the classes, it's only switched on for you know the top portion of the wave or all the way up in here, it's actually using a digital PWM signal anymore. So it's not even switching the actual uh, small signal. Um, so as you get further up the, the chart, you get higher efficiencies, um, and but you get lower quality. So a class C amplifier is not gonna sound super great for audio, but it's gonna be a lot more efficient. 
um, we're going to be working in this range here, the A to C range. Um, specifically today, we're doing AB. Um, B is nice because it's uh, more efficient than AB, but it has this weird instance at the zero crossing. So when it goes from uh, zero to the negative value, there's this little jitter there that causes some distortion. So we avoid that by using an AB, which is like almost a B, but not quite an A. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, so you can see as you go towards the higher efficiency end, you get more distortion. Um, as you go towards the lower efficiency end, you get higher quality. So AB is kind of a nice, a nice middle ground. Um, this is the chip we're going to be working with today. It's the uh, LM386. Uh, it's a low voltage class AB audio amplifier chip. You can see the schematic here. Um, it works on a really nice wide range of voltages. So it can do five to 15 volts. Um, it has a maximum of 700 milliwatts of output power. Uh, and it has an adjustable voltage gain of 20 to 200, which if you take 30, 20, that'll make more sense to you. But basically you can get a lot of gain out of it. Um, it's essentially just a multiplier. So if you put 20 millivolts in and you have it set to 200, multiply 20 by 200 and you get that much out. So that can be quite a lot. Um, so there's some transistors in here. That's the schematic symbol for these. So this is all nicely packaged up in this little guy. Uh, so yeah, that concludes the explanation of amplifiers. Any questions before we get to the breadboarding part? Uh, so just a quick reminder on how breadboards work. Uh, these are the power rails. So they're connected. All of these are connected together. Um, and then these are where you'll actually work on your circuit. And they're connected in row in columns this way. So this one's not separate from this one. So, but these are all connected together. Um, once you finish your circuit, please let one of us check it. If you accidentally put the nine volts from the battery into your headphone jack in your phone, it'll probably blow it up. So we don't want you to do that. I'll feel really bad. So just have us check it. If you don't, you're living dangerously. And this little guy here is judging you. So, you know, safety first. Um, here's the schematic and we can start getting started on it. Uh, parts are at the front. Um, you'll just need one of everything on here. So you can get a speaker, you need, these are all capacitors. Um, these are resistors. There's only two resistors and they're the same kind. So there's no color codes to worry about. Um, don't say, I don't love you. These are all marked, it's very handy. Um, the only one thing I should mention is I think all the capacitors are polarized. So they, the polarity does matter, but it's pretty easy to figure out. And if you have a question, we can just help you figure that out. Are they all polarized because all of the ones connected to the speaker and K5 are polarized? They are in the schematic, but I think they are polarized. But the, the plus side's on the non-ground side. So um, yeah, so that did pass through the, the editing process, but oops. OK, well, everybody can come up and get their parts now. We didn't bring breadboards. <laughs> Go, Connor. Uh, in the meantime, though, you can still come grab your parts. <laughs> if I didn't, did I go through that too fast? Okay. Uh, do you want me to stop recording or keep going? So I think that's it. Um, yeah. Next weekend, we're covering intro to serial, or not next week, but the, uh, the week after, the next meeting, we're doing this. So I'm still yet to decide what exactly we're doing, but it might involve you talking to people over some wires, which could be fun. So. That's our second last workshop too. I think so. Yeah. So um, 